Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Wherever you are in the world, I send you so much love and strength. We are all in this together. Saturn in Aquarius is helping us to transform and understand the value of human life and our planet. We're right in it now and we all have to be safe. Now, this week, there's a lot of intense astrology. We have a Mars and Saturn conjunction. We also have the Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. There's going to be massive breakthrough, I believe, this week and also massive change. And also for yourself, for all of us independently, there's a personal revolution going on. The good news is that Mercury, the planet communication, is no longer in retro shadow. So communication gets a lot clearer. Here's your weekly astrology. you powerful goat do not fear you will get to the top of the mountain you will succeed but yeah you have been going through such an intense time possibly more than anyone your foundations have been shaken you're going through a rebirth and of course rebirths are pretty painful when we're in a rebirth we're like ah, get me out of the birth canal <laughs> but you know you catch my drift it's like right now massive shift and changes are coming your way. I'm going to cut to the chase, actually. I was going to leave this to the end. I might as well, I'm going to say it now. The big thing for you this week is the Ju Jupiter and Pluto conjunction are in your sign. After the end of this week, life will never be the same again. There is a revelation coming to you, hopefully, that will bring you into your power as a magician, to know yourself as a, as a different being, to shed some of the crap and really, truly walk into your unique soul and into your power. Life is changing and it's got your name written on it. It is Capricorn. And also, actually, you can get some added information if you look at your rising sign, because that will help you piece together the puzzle of what's going on for you astrologically. But it's full on intense. What do you think these changes are? You've probably been building up to some massive change. But once these two clash, it's like you are flung into a brand new world. And I believe it will be a world that benefits you, but it's certainly going to be dramatic one way or the other. It doesn't have to like, not dramatic necessarily negatively, but it's, it's like a big, big shift of energy for you. Let's talk about some of the more mundane stuff. Not really mundane because it's all actually quite intense. But anyway, Mars is going into your security zone, as is Saturn. This is good because you are hunkering down. You are going, I will be secure. And you're a Capricorn. When you say something, it happens. And you're like, I will be secure. There will be abundance in my life one way or the other, whether it's emotional or financial or some other kind of abundance or abundance of good health. You are determined to succeed when it comes to being secure. And the cosmos is going to help you with that. Venus, the planet of love, is saying just focus on your health and well-being and your daily routines and your daily habits. But it gives you, you know, a big kind of squashy light of love around you that helps you to do that. And then Venus is trying Saturn. You are committed to working. And you know what? You can work anywhere. Even if you've been feeling down and not on it and you've been hanging around in your pajamas, you are getting yourself together to do what it is in your heart you want to do. I'm not talking about necessarily something that's commercial, but I'm talking about you dedicating yourself to something. And trust me, when you dedicate yourself to something, it pays off in the end. Keep going. If you want to come and see me on Michelle Knight Astrologer on Facebook, I think that's what it is anyway. Just Google me. Um, I'm doing lots of live chats where I could talk to you, you know, virtually and doing readings and workshops. I want to be of service to empower and entertain you and whatever you want in this time. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. Hi, I'm Seven, a spiritual medium psychic. When I'm communicating messages from, from spirit to you, I'm also looking at the, the evolution of where you're going in, in your life, in your journey. I'm answering questions, but then also looking at the wider reasoning around what's happening as well. 
What I always do is give the truth because I'm giving the information that's coming through for me. And so sometimes that comes across to some people that could be quite harsh or they want me to change information. That's not what this is about. This is about what's coming through from spirit. But ultimately, a reading with me is there to help. Most of the time, I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself, as in Seven, giving that. It's actually coming from spirit. This work is incredible. It's joyful. It means so much that I'm able to give that gift to somebody that ultimately is going to better their, their life. Mm -hmm.